Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to this Horiba talk session on Break Dust. My name is Joel Dancer, Global Application Manager here at Horiba Europe, and I'm delighted to give you a short overview on our measurement concept for break particle emissions. As you might know, legislative authorities from all over the world have started to look into the topic of break dust in order to further improve the air quality, especially in densely populated city centers. At Riva, we're actively supporting the related working groups, bringing in our expertise in both brake dynamometers, particle measurement instruments, and also software solutions. In the next couple of minutes, I would like to outline how we can also support you and your company in the development of cleaner brake systems. Now, the first question being asked is, why is Ceriba the ideal partner for the measurement of brake particle emissions? The answer is rather simple, because as you can see here on this slide, we can cover all the important aspects of the brake dust application with internal know-how. We do not only offer a brake dust measurement capabilities on the brake dyno, this is something I will explain in the next couple of minutes, now we can also provide additional measurement instruments for the particle characterization and we also got a brake test center here in the Frankfurt area in Germany where we offer brake dust contract testing as a service. Now how does a brake dust test system actually look like? One example for a measurement solution on the brake dyno is shown here in this picture. I would like to point out that this is really only one example based on our giant 6200 dyno. Of course, we at Horiba, we can also equip all the other Horiba brake dynamometers with measurement capabilities. So no matter what kind of uh, brake system or brake dyno you're using in your laboratory, the measurement concept itself is always very similar and it's typically based on three pillars. First one being the brake dyno modification, so the brake dyno upgrade kit. The second one being the measurement technology. And the third one being the software solution or the automation part. I would like to explain these three different aspects a little bit more in detail, starting with the brake dyno modifications. So here on this slide, you can see all the additional components or modifications which are needed for a brake dust measurement on the brake dyno. As the name already indicates, we are only interested in brake dust. We're not interested in what's going on in the laboratory. And that's why we're installing a HIPAA filter in the cooling air duct in order to reduce the particle background concentration. So by means of this HIPAA filter, only particle-free cooling air is applied to the brake on the test. The brake assembly itself is then covered by the brake enclosure where the emitted brake particles are collected and then transport it towards the exhaust duct where the actual sampling takes place. As you can see, the brake dyno modifications, they're actually not that complicated and they are very well complemented by our measurement technology. Our future brake dust legislation will introduce emission limits for both the particle number and also the particle mass. We at Horiba, we provide measurement instruments for both metrics uh, giving you a chance to be prepared for the upcoming legislation. So for the particle mass measurement, we are offering the DLS-1, where the PM10 and also PM2.5 is measured by means of a gravimetric filter method. The high precision venturi flow meters ensure that we have a stable flow without any pulsations or flow drifts. And we also implemented a bypass functionality so that your results are not falsified during, for example, soak times or during standby. For the particle number measurement, we're using the 2110 SPCS. This unit utilizes a full-flow condensation particle counter calibrated down to 10 nanometer, and it also got two dilution stages as well as a catalytic stripper, so that your results are most accurate and most robust over the course of multiple tests. Of course, all these measurement instruments, they are fully integrated into our star spray automation system, which brings us to the next topic. Star spray, the Horiba automation system, is a very powerful tool to control both your brake dyno and also all the connected measurement instruments. The entire brake dust application is fully implemented into an automated workflow so that you can uh, execute 
the test cycle itself, but also all the preparational work, such as the bedding procedure, the PN background check, or the cooling air adjustment in a fully automated way. On top of that, we also develop a so-called Breakthrough application suite, uh, handling the entire topic of data post-processing, emission calculation, and reporting. With all that being said, I would like to invite all of you to get more information on Horiba's Breakthrough measurement solution, fully automated measurement concept, best-in-class measurement technology, as well as a highly flexible uh, BreakDyno modification kit. It's what we are bringing to the table, and we're excited to get in contact with you, helping you to make the world cleaner and more efficient. Thank you very much.